Collective. Welcome back, everyone. Thanks for joining me here. Let's go straight to the tea and see what we're talking about here. Collective. Someone's looking you up, okay? They're reflecting on something. Reflecting on a third party. Someone's been talking shit, intimidating, creeping, looking you up. They're wasting their time. Look, I'm telling you, this is a dangerous, toxic, unhealthy, possessive karmic. Intimidating. They've been wasting their time. Holding grudges. Wolves in sheep's clothing. They could have caught a case. They could be... What? Child neglect. Bad parenting. Someone's extra triggered. They're trying to dodge a bullet. They could have married someone for money or someone married them for money. This is getting insomnia while you're a queen rising. You've bossed up here. This person's always partying. There's some drug habits, alcohol habits here, and you ain't interested in being... They're trying to get the inside scoop, scoop on you. This f person is feeling trapped. Somebody could be locked up or about to be. Or someone is always in and out of... I don't know. This isn't good energy. The only energy that's good in here is yours, Collective. So let's take Queen Rising out here and this boss energy. Let's elaborate in, on this one, Spirit. Yo, oh, you got good karma. Let's go. This person may have rejected you. You may have dodged a bullet. What's going on here? You're healing. You're having some form of success here. And this person... What? What's going on here? You could be successfully running some sort of business. Or you could have purchased a home. Or you might be getting approved for a new job, or approved for a mortgage, or approved for a home. And they're trying to dig up dirt on you. You may have had a new idea. I don't know. You're moving on. Someone's trying to dig up information on you, snooping on you. You've blocked them. This person is confused. They thought you were broke. What did they think you were bankrupt? Or this other lover is going bankrupt? I don't know. Well, whatever they're doing, they regret manipulating you and they regret rejecting you. I asked for your energy, but this is what I'm getting, okay? So we're building up to it. You've got some good karma. And I can tell you that you're getting some type of victory, a decision here. So... What is this? Getting arrested? Or is somebody actually going to jail? Is this your partner? Or are they trapped with someone else? This is something shocking or instability? Something to do with family? Someone digging up dirt? Somebody interfering in family?
What is this? Holding a grudge or revenge? What is this? Bad parenting? <clears throat> because someone's envious? Are they saying you're a bad parent because they're envious or someone's holding a grudge? Like you don't care about your kids or something like this, mocking you, making fun of you. I, they're just full of crap. Someone owes you an apology. Someone has been lying about the information that they collected on you. So somebody is lying about the fact that somebody was digging up the information on you or they're lying about the fact about the information they did dig up on you because you're doing really well huh so this is to do with courts oh you psychos. They are gossiping, guys, about you. And they're gossiping about your children. They are gossiping about your family. They're trying to dig up all kinds of information. All kinds of dirt. Oh, yeah, they must be doing drugs. They, they're my bad parent. They're a drug dealer. They must be dealing drugs. Why? Because you're doing really well. <laughs> they're like, oh, I thought they were broke. How'd they go from being rags to riches? How'd they go from have not to having? They must be dealing drugs. <laughs> I can't, I can't, I can't stand these nosy people. I cannot. I just want you to know that Spirit is very well aware of it. Oh my God. They got all the trash mouths. These are trash mouths. They are jealous of you. Oh, they must be. How'd they go from have not to having? How did they go from having nothing to having all this? They must be doing drugs. They must be dealing drugs. They're a bad parent. They're this. They're that. They're the other thing. <laughs> How about the fact that maybe you're just blessed? How about that? So these people wanted you down. They were believing the worst in you. They were thinking the worst of you. They were paranoid. Somebody is making someone paranoid because they loved you. So they're digging up dirt on you, trying to find flaws in you, trying to pick you apart. Not only you, but your children if you have children. Or your family if you have family. They're trying to pick you apart. Shame on them. I'm almost embarrassed to know human beings sometimes. When I see this kind of information, I am actually feel embarrassed for them. You have nothing to be ashamed of. You have nothing to be embarrassed of. Even if you were broke, even if you were in poverty, even if you had nothing, you got nothing to be ashamed of. It's only dirty players that want you to feel that way about yourself. I'm just saying. It's accusations. Accusations. Oh, Jesus. 
How about you're brilliant? How about you're inspiring? How about you're attractive? How about you attract things towards you? Someone thought you were foolish. Making accusations about you, see? Secretly, someone has been secretly making accusations about you. And you're minding your own business. You're not interfering in nobody's life. This is gossip. Gossip behind the back. It's deceptive gossip, by the way, just in case. And spirit knows all about it. What is this? It's all someone's plan to manipulate. What is this? Because somebody was angry at you or someone was holding a grudge against you. Well, there's karma. You're healing. You're being divinely protected. You got nothing to feel ashamed about. I think like if you were struggling financially, I think spirit deliberately blocked your blessings because of who you were associated with. So if you were having financial issues, it is probably because of who the company you were keeping. Oh. <laughs> little gossip. Did someone pay to have you investigated this little um this little uh, messenger here paid to have you investigated this is the law digging into your finances digging trying to dig up information about you they're wasting their time trying Damn, won't people grow up? Why do people got to be so vindictive? It just shows how vindictive they are to even want to do that. It shows how vindictive they are by even making that action. Stupid friends causing towers, causing trouble. It's some controlling lover who denied even doing this but they're getting karma that's the truth it's their little karma and their little groupies and their karmic friends because i mean you're highly respected you love your family you love yourself and you love your family. What the heck? People been lying. And they owe you an apology. But someone's spiteful. Talking about you and talking about your kids. If you got kids, I'm telling you, they're jealous. <clears throat> they're a wannabe empress. I don't care who they are. They would only wish to be you. I don't care what your circumstances are, guys. Like, don't feel like here on this channel that anybody's going to judge anybody by their finances. Oh, my God. We've all been there. We've all been down and out. Me. I've gone from rag to riches three times over. What do you want? My family comes first. My priorities come first. And I don't care what other people think. I don't care about their materialistic world that they live in. You don't you know what I'm saying? I don't care about people's judgments about me. I do what I am led to do and what spirit tells me to do. 
And I can tell you that each time that I have had financial problems in my life, it's because of the characters that I surrounded myself with. It's like spirit just goes, you know, I don't want them profiting. And I should pay attention, but I do pay attention now. But I didn't back then, but I did obey. I just never understood all the reasons all the time. That's all. But I mean, for someone deliberately to be going researching, trying to dig up dirt, do this, do that, like there's somebody. What if somebody did that to them? How would they like it? If someone turned around and investigated them, how would they fare? If someone snooped into their past and snooped into their children and investigated, how would they like it? They think, you know, they're 10 feet tall and bulletproof and spirit's going to teach them a lesson. I'm sorry, you don't get away with that garbage. So anyway, you are on the rise and you are multifaceted and you could have built yourself from the ground up. You could have rebuilt your entire life. Hateful, spiteful, vengeful people. That's all it is. Gossip from rumors and insinuations and accusations. It's, it's the mouth of the devil. That's the words of the devil. That's how the devil does what the devil does best. Likes to trick, manipulate, use things against people as weapons. Those are all form. Who cares? Who cares? When you don't care... The devil don't bother you. There's nothing that spirit cannot rebuild. There's nothing that spirit cannot make right. I told you it's the tricks of the devil. It's all about control, man. Yeah. Well, the devil's going to get their day with the tower. Trying to cause a tower for an empress. <laughs> oh, ho, 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 ho. trying to cause a tower for an empress. Jeez, aren't they tough? See how tough they are when they're under under examination, you know? Things work both ways. So let's see how they feel when they're under the, the watchful eye, you know? It's all good till they're investigated. It's all good till spirit finds all their dirty deeds and exposes them. Spiritual haters, just saying, getting nightmares from it. Like I said, you know, people that do this, and I'm not trying to be mean when I say it, people got to stop with the judgment thing. They got to to stop judging other people's lives because they have never walked in their shoes. Like I said, this is an empress energy who has built themselves up from scratch. Nothing handed to them but pure, true grit and hard work. And people going around trying to cause towers for empresses they're going to get their own towers. I'm sorry, but they are. And it's not 
like they're trying to get facts and information and going over and above the call of duty to interfere in someone's life who is minding their own business what do you think they're going to get they're going to experience their own take care